Boys and girls, grade six, as I promised today, I'm going to talk about techniques of making and decorating paper flowers. Uh, last week, I talked and a lot about uh, the materials that you can use to make these uh, paper uh, flowers, uh, their containers. I mentioned things like tissues, newspaper, or that is old newspapers. I also talked about magazines. I also talked about papers from your exercise book and so forth. So today, straight to the lesson, what are these techniques? After you have collected all these materials, how do you go about now? What are the techniques that you can use on these papers to make these flower, flower, paper flowers? Number one, folding. The paper is folded several times to make a flower. You can fold the paper, whether it is tissue, whether it is magazine, whether it is from wherever, media, you can fold that paper several times to make a flower of your choice. Number two, cutting. The paper can be cut into the shape of a flower, the way you want. You can cut that paper to the shape of a flower, you cut another one to the shape of a flower, you cut another one to the shape of the flower, and then you bring them together, you stick them using an adhesive to make a flower. Another technique of making flowers is by pasting. What you can do, this involves gluing cutouts, papers, of different or similar colors to make a flower. You make cutouts of different or similar colors to make a flower. And it is very enjoyable, boys and girls. Then there is twisting. It involves twisting a paper to create interesting patterns and form a flower. You just twist the paper the way you want. Then after twisting, you can cut and you stretch you'll find it has make a very good flower. And last but not least, there's also plating. Uh, this involves folding and twisting papers to make a flower. Like uh, nowadays, you can find, when you come across ladies wearing uh, skirts which have got what? Which are plated. Now, let's go to how do you decorate these flowers and containers. The, the, uh, to decorate these flowers and containers, you need to use objects that are known as embellishments. Objects that are used to decorate flower, these paper flowers and the containers, they are known as embellishments. Examples of these embellishments include, number one, buttons, colored beads, colored uh, seeds, and of course, we have what we call non-edible seeds, those seeds which you cannot eat. Now, let's start with buttons. How do you decorate with buttons? These buttons can be pasted on the paper crafts by use of glue. You can paste them by glue. Those are the buttons. What about sand? Sand can be colored using no more ink or no more color. And then you sprinkle, or rather you sprinkle this. You just paste the sand on your flowers using glue. And they will, uh, they will make a very good pattern. What about fabric? Fabric can be decorated and stitched or pasted on a flower paper. Otherwise, boys and girls, the other methods of decorating these paper flowers. These include tie and dye. You can also paint your flowers. You can also use the stencil printing to decorate your paper flowers and also the containers to hold them. For more details, I'll give you more information in the next lesson. Have a good viewing.